my first home was this tight, cramped, like I guess you'd call it like a studio, and my roommate and I were basically like on top of each other, and it was always like swelteringly hot. But we had our room and board paid for uh, because we were fetuses. <laughs> But one day, uh, my brother left without me knowing, and someone had to kind of come in and let me know what was going on, pull me out. But cut to last year, it was December. And it was cold the way it's supposed to be in December. And it was like a few days, it was, it was right around this time, like December 20th or so. And... Uh, the doorbell rings. I'm living in an apartment that's slightly bigger uh, than the womb. And <laughs> the doorbell rings, or I think I hear it ring at about 4 o'clock in the morning. And I groggily get up. And I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm sort of hoping that it's like a misplaced delivery call. <laughs> and he's just going to like give me the food and just end with his night there. Um, so I walk downstairs, and there's no one at the door. And I go back upstairs to my apartment on the second floor and the door's locked Aww. and my twin brother who I had been living with uh, but who does not have ESP with me uh, did not tell me that he was traveling to California and I'm wearing like a raggedy pair of boxer briefs <laughs> So I start to think frantically about what I'm going to, I don't have a phone, it's like 15 degrees out, there's no heat in the hallway. So like I swallow my pride and I walk down to the, the downstairs neighbor and it's this young lady who I've never spoken with in my life. <laughs> and I walk up and I knock on the door and surprisingly she opens it. She looks at me, she laughs hysterically for about 10 seconds. <laughs> and then slams the door in my face. <laughs> so I'm freaked out, trying to figure out what am I going to do? It's like 15 degrees out, and I decide I have a friend who lives a couple blocks up the street on 15th. So I walk outside in this raggedy pair of black boxer briefs, no shoes, it's freezing. I run up to his house and I realize I don't know which address is his. So I knock on three doors, step back, and wait for someone to answer. And no one does. So I run back to my apartment to kind of regather myself, and I go to the front door, and the front door of the apartment is now locked. And I'm outside of my apartment in this freezing cold weather, wearing next to nothing. And I, I kick my brain into survival mode, like what can I do? And all of a sudden I realize there's this place where I occasionally get dinner that might be open now. So I run about 12 blocks to Sunoco. <laughs> Standing there, huffing and puffing, wearing next to nothing, in the middle of A+, and this beatific employee in yellow and blue looks at me, and she says, oh my goodness, this happens to my son all the time, don't even worry about it. <laughs> So she gives me a Sunoco coat and gives me a phone. And I, I call my dad and she offers to, to give me some coffee to warm me up. And there's a few awkward moments where I'm walking around the store and people are coming in. I'm trying to make it seem like it's normal for a, a half-naked human to be in Sunoco with a coffee, kind of gazing at the different items that they have for sale. really hit me 
was a couple days later, um, I started walking, I was walking downtown and I passed um, a homeless gentleman. And typically my reaction has always been um, to not really react, to not really think. And I started realizing that, you know, I was in a sense in this case, for these few moments, homeless. And I was lucky enough to have someone to come help me, and ultimately this woman helped me. And I realized that maybe the way that we react, maybe the way that we treat these people, maybe our, our generalized, sterilized reaction of not reacting isn't the right thing to do. Because yep. for that one moment, you know, because of my, my privilege, whatever it is, I was lucky enough um, to have someone come get me, but this woman gave me a home. You know, and maybe this holiday season, I and we can make an effort to kind of step out of our comfort zone and just for a few moments, uh, be a home for those people. Thank you. Yeah.